The drip copy on Pulse Chain has launched and it's been about 48 hours. And in those 48 hours, I noticed a few things. Now, I did make an original video talking about the issues behind the original fork and now this and how is this portrayed incorrectly in regards to everything that it has. But there are a few developments that I want to talk about and there are things I want to mention because at the end of the day, no matter how many times you try to warn people, they will still fall for whatever messages they see based on people invested and people who have the power to influence the outcome. Now, the title here mainly references the unethical behavior that I keep seeing all around. And unfortunately, like I said, no matter how many times you try to challenge it, there will always be arguments that don't have any substance, but they exist because look, we're making some money. And this is right now the current status. So everything you know today is here. All right. So we know that the system as a whole, so the ROI DAP system is a broken system. We all know that there is no revenue. We all know that they only rely on new capital coming in. So you're copying something that has failed so many times already. So at the end of the day, the only way you're profiting is to keep going and bringing those new victims to take their money at the end of the day. So at the beginning of Drip two years ago, things were looking fine. If there were developments, if they had shifted their ways a bit, if the animal farm was actually, you know, developing Drip itself, but not its own thing, even though that's also a Ponzi, then things would be different. But we know that there's a huge black hole inside the system that cannot just be filled by game theory and broken promises. All right. That's very important to understand. Now, going a bit forward, like I said, this constant praising of something that isn't, you know, quite out there in regards to actual revenues being distributed. And the addition to this garden that is just a simple miner that the misinformation about keeps spreading that no one permanent loss. It's it's a static, uh, it's a static garden, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's just a simple miner. You put in money, you have to, you take money based on people entering and there, there's all there is to it. And right now, if you look at the price of P drip, it's highly inflated, a bit less than 10x its pre-sale price for nothing more than something that is a conduit. I call it a condu conduit because you need it to multiply the actual assets that make sense for you at the end of the day. Not just nobody is going to hold P drip. People are going to buy in, hope uh, many people come after them so they can cash in some profits. And the idea of dashboard money being impressive and being called as gains is very false and should stop being spread around. Okay. Because at the end of the day, the inevitable conclusion, once people understand that there's no point in entering anymore, the price is going to start trickling down. And that is accelerated because some people compound, meaning they have more to claim, so on and so forth. At the end of the day, just a zero sum game, the liquidity will dry out and you'll be ending holding up thousands of these tokens that have zero value. And the thing is, team leaders or the people who came into this from Drip or other ROI dApps know all of this already. They know what will happen. There's nothing in the white paper or the mechanics. I mean, there will be inflation, even though they set up a total max supply, there will be inflation if you do the math based on the amounts of faucet that there are. So that's one. And two, they seem to have amnesia in regards to what happens to all the other tokens related to these ROI dApps. They all fell 99% plus of their all-time highs and they keep falling. No matter, they will go to pennies because people don't care. They produce millions of these and they're just going to sell them. There's no point in keeping them because the product has nothing to offer. They're just leeching on new people to get some money. And this hardcore chilling that I saw after lunch through YouTube and Telegram is honestly disgusting. I mean, you guys know what will happen to these people who are going to buy in this at 15, 16, 20 dollars plus. It's sad because they will buy in at a fraction of what you bought in this for. I mean, it's actually the other way. You bought in at a fraction of what they're paying. And you know, this is not going to last. And that's also goes into and ties into the incorrect information in regards to everything that they say. So 
it's similar to an echo chamber. If you go in and if you start talking about the downfalls and the shortcomings, they're going to mute you out or cast you out to keep this fresh liquidity uh, entering the system. I mean, they know the potential downfall. They know that it's going to happen and they have admitted it. You're gonna, If you look on the chats or in the chats, you're going to see people talking about, yeah, I'm entering early. I hope to cash out as much as possible because I know it will go to zero. That's normal. And of course, there will always be these people who will use personal attacks as means of, you know, defending their position because they entered the pre-sale and they need to keep the, you know, the product intact. So more people enter and for them to get more money at the end of the day. I mean, if you look at the dashboard, like I said, it's a copy paste of another BSC project that went to zero. If you look at the token of that BSC project, there it is. You see it barely pumped and then went to zero. Look at the other. So that's the famous drip. Then here comes Furio. And then here you have Arc. And I just show you, showed you Bandit. And this is right now the status of, the status of this one. So you, you have the original pump that happened a day or two ago. We all know what's going to happen eventually. We all know what's going to happen next. Go to Telegram. Look at this group, for example. Sharing the big buys, sharing the bullish videos, which have no substance, of course. And if you scroll back down all the way to the end, all you see is this. All you see is this. And that's the sad reality. Groups like this who endured all of these ROI dabs, their downfalls, they dragged so many people in the ground. The other day, I checked in a Telegram chat where a guy mentioned that he put 40k of his mom's money into drip and now it's nothing. They try to recoup that. So you see, like because of unfortunately these guys spreading the word and new people who have no idea what's happening enter this and then they lose money and then you hear stories like this, but these guys don't care. They will take your money with a big smile with a big smile on their face. And that's what I saw. I had the discussion with a few of these, and those are the scammy people that you're following. Not to mention the drip hardcore YouTubers that now abandon ship and now they're chilling this, knowing that the outcome will be the same. It's all a bunch of referral leeching. It's all a bunch of people who just want to take away your money. They don't care about you, but you're still following them. So please, please, please under understand this and just disregard them. Honestly, I'll keep making these and try to reach as many people as possible. All right. And with that, two things I want to say. One, thank you if you stuck around. I really appreciate it if you did. I hope this brought you some value at the end, honestly. And if you're not in yet, please consider joining our Telegram group. Lots of interesting people there, mature investors. We talk about real things, not Ponzi's, of course. And with that, see you in the next one. Have a good one.